tonight on Solved or Unsolved, I want to talk about Marilyn Monroe. Okay, this is a big one because obviously everybody knows who Marilyn Monroe was, right? Huge actress, um, and she was more than an actress. Uh, she was larger than life. If I can equate her to somebody that I grew up with, I would say uh, Madonna, obviously. And I think Marilyn Monroe was a huge influence on Madonna. Nowadays, I'm not into the stuff, so I don't even know who to compare her to today. So I'm not even going to try. But in the uh, 50s, she was it. Um, but like all good things, it came to an end. And Marilyn Monroe's life came to an end on... Uh, was it April 4th, 1962 in Los Angeles, California. The coroner's report says that she died of probable suicide. So is this solved or unsolved? Well, one of the things when you look at suicides, what you need to look at is victimology and whether they were prone to it. And not necessarily talk to family members. You want to talk to friends and workers and stuff like that. They'll see more things sometimes than the family would. A lot of times family members will not accept suicide. Just can't believe it. So you have to look at alternate sources of information to, to get that. Now in this case, there was no suicide note. Well, is that unusual? No. Um, I don't know what the statistics are. But some leave notes, some don't. Um, some don't leave notes because they're ashamed. And and some don't have anybody, you know, to leave notes to. But Marilyn Monroe, she was born Norma Jean Mortensen. Okay, and she was not from L.A. when she was born. She was a country girl. But she found talent in modeling. It didn't hurt that she had some pretty good assets if you know what I mean. And back in those days, as is today, that helps. So she had appeal. And that sold. That sold modeling. And it took her all the way to Hollywood. And in the uh, 50s, 1953, she had a breakout year where all of her movies were just going crazy. And she ended up grossing like $200 million dollars in her films and she wasn't that great of an actress okay but just shows you how much charisma and her looks and she had some talent there's no doubt about it you're not going to make it uh, as an actress in Hollywood without a little bit of talent uh, but what really separated her from everybody else was her looks so eventually she married uh, Joe DiMaggio so Joe DiMaggio played the outfield for the New York Yankees and he was New York, you know, he's on the Mount Rushmore of New York Yankee players. Mickey Mantle's up there with him, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and uh, Joe D. But that marriage fell apart, and she ended up marrying a playwright, a writer named Arthur Miller. So the 60s roll around, and she's her film career is kind of dying down. So yes, that would give cause for potential suicide notion well in 1962 i believe it was uh she ended up singing happy birthday the most famous rendition of happy birthday ever to none other than the president of the united states john f kennedy now it's been rumored that she was having an affair with kennedy I think that has been substantiated, <clears throat> and I think there is obviously truth to that. It is also rumored that she was having an affair with Robert Kennedy. That one I don't know about. Uh, I'd have to research that a little bit further, but I have heard that. Not long after, I believe she sang that to Happy Birthday to Kennedy probably in early... 62 and by august of 62 she was dead a lot of people speculate that the kennedys had something to do with this murder just like any conspiracy theory i'm not into it however 
it is something that has to be looked at. Now, according to toxicology reports taking from her body, she had a large amount of prescription pills. Who does that sound like? Elvis. Okay. This was back in a time where you could get prescription pills, especially if you were famous. You know, it's like they, they were hand, handing them out like candy. And she had a lot of prescription pills on the scene at the crime scene. She was found naked in her bed. The housekeeper had noticed that her light was on underneath the door, but her door was locked. It was 3 o'clock in the morning, and she got nervous. She called her physician. Look at that parallel. Same thing as Elvis, right? They called his physician as well. Um, the same people that prescribed the pills. In Elvis's case, I think there was some cleanup to get rid of the prescriptions. I'm not sure if that happened here or not. But what struck me is the coroner said that it was acute barbiturate poisoning, basically an overdose. But he said the dose it's it's not an it's probable suicide. It's not an accidental overdose because the dosages of those pills in her body were over the limit. That makes no sense. No shit they're going to be over the limit. How can you not say, I don't understand that. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. I, I don't think that you could say it's suicide and not accidental. I, I don't know how you determine it, it's one or the other unless something more to substantiate that it was a suicide. Did she tell somebody? How depressed was she acting? Did she leave a note? You know, those things. If they're not there, you can't rule out an accidental overdose. You can't. What if she was feeling so shitty in life that she just decided, you know what, I need a couple extra pills tonight to make me sleep. And she had no intention of killing herself. So anybody that says that it was not accidental, I think is doing a disservice to her and her family. One little antidote here is that Joe DiMaggio, even though he divorced from her, up until his death, when he was in his 80s, every year, either on her birthday or anniversary, he would go and put a rose on her grave. That's a guy right there, right? Stand up man. I like that. So, I guess I, I would have to do more of a deep dive on this one too, but... Hey, this is solved or unsolved. This isn't unsolved no more where I'm going deep. This is just off the cuff. So it is officially classified as a, as a suicide. I still think you have accidental overdose. Dare I say homicide. Mm, I'm not there. Conspiracy theorists want me to go there. You Kennedy haters... You want me to go there, but I won't yet. I did read somewhere, some theory, because there was no track mark. Somebody said said that she would may have been injected, and, you know, if you get un injected underneath your fingernails or other creative areas, you're not going to see any track marks, and therefore you could be killed. Sure, could be. Yeah, I'm going to stick with maybe accidental or suicide but is it solved or unsolved the verdict unsolved i think it needs to be looked into further guess who's going to look into it further this guy so i'm going to look at it it'll be a longer uh deeper dive at some point in time but this is solved or unsolved and right now marilyn monroe unsolved till next time mains out. I won't fear us.